today we have a 2019 low 175C Stinger. This is a used boat and it only has 16 engine hours on it and is in excellent shape. This boat is powered by a 60 horsepower Mercury 4 stroke. It is fuel injected. Also included with the boat is a caravan bunk trailer. This trailer features a swing tongue, swivel jack, bearing buddies, fenders with, ste with steps, side centering guides, and a spare tire with mount. Additionally, as you can see, this boat does come with a transom saver. Now if we hop up into the boat, first thing you'll probably take attention to is that there's two swivel fisherman seats, one in the bow, one in the stern area. We have a very nice sized raised stern fishing deck that has a total of four compartments, three of which are storage, like this one, and one which is a nice sized aerated live well. This compartment right here, obviously you can tell it holds our fuel tank. It also holds all three batteries for this boat one being for the cranking battery for the motor and two being for the trolling motor we also have a mariner or excuse me a pro mariner onboard battery charger this is a three bank charger additionally here's our other storage compartment And last but not least, our live well. As you can see, this live well does include a bait bucket and a removable divider. So next, as we make our way down into what I'm going to call the cockpit area, you'll notice we have two bucket seats, one for the passenger and one for the driver. There's also a middle seat, which I currently have folded down right now, into this is made for you to step on, and then you could fold it up so it's actually a seat. This boat does have a four person maximum capacity, according to the U.S. Coast Guard. And underneath both the driver and passenger seats, nice storage compartment. Now if we look at some of the controls on the boat. First of all we do have our throttle controls with our trim up and down. We also have our safety run stop switch right there. As far as the actual dash is concerned we do have our live well with automatic off in manual positions. We have a bilge pump, navigation anchor lights, and our master power. Clearly we do have a 12 volt as well with a tachometer and a trim gauge. We move our way to the other side. We'll start out with our gauges. We do have a speedometer and a fuel gauge. We also have an electronic horn, an accessory switch that currently has nothing on it right now. Our interior lights 
Uh, this boat actually does not have interior lighting, but if you ever added them, there's a switch already there for them. And then there's a recirculation switch for the live wells, and obviously our ignition key. Front and center in the dash, in a very handy spot, we have a Lawrence hook 4x fish and depth finder. Really in a convenient area. If we look to the bow of the boat, you'll notice we have a very nice sized casting area up front. Once again, we have three compartments. First and foremost, once again, we have a really nice sized live well. This has a removable bait bucket and a divider as well, both of which can be removed, allowing a really nice sized live well. Next, we do have a large storage compartment, perfect for stowing life jackets, gear, tackle bags, tackle boxes, whatever. On the port side, we do have a top deck rod stays, as you can see in the front. Basically a strap to hold your rods down when you're cruising down the lake, that way they don't fly all over. And then we also have this compartment, which is meant to be a rod slash storage locker. Right now I do have the navigation and anchor lights in there. Now as we approach the very bow of the boat. First thing you'll notice is this boat does have a recessed trolling motor pedal, which is super handy. We have a bow trolling motor plug, as well as a trim switch. The trolling motor that is on this boat is a Minn Kota 70 pound thrust. This is the Edge model. and as you can see it is a 24 volt. One more thing to note is there is technically four in-floor bases for the chairs. One right there, one in the middle, and one on the side, and then obviously the one in the rear. So once again this is a 2019 Low 175 C Stinger. This is a used boat with only 16 hours on it. It's powered by a 60 horsepower Mercury four stroke EFI outboard. If you're interested in this boat, please feel free to stop by Leaders today. We'd love to show you the boat, answer any questions you may have. If you can't make it in, please feel free to visit our website. That is www.leadersrpm.com. We'll have lots of pictures as well as a detailed description of every feature that is included on this boat. Thanks for watching.